we're gonna play Ark Survival. Um, I I have grown and I have more zits than last time, so let's play. <laughs> okay, great. Um, all right, so I guess host local is what I need to do. It's the only time I ever play Ark is with you. And so yeah, the island you have that selected and play single player. Play single player. Okay, and it, it should have saved all of our work from last time, right? Right. Okay, good. So, oh wait, we haven't connected your controller. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a problem. All right, let's. Um, uh, was I supposed to turn it on just then? Uh, I think you might have just connected it to the other Xbox in the other room, but that's okay because as soon as we plug it into this Xbox, uh, it'll it'll change. Okay, I should have just turned off the Xbox in the other room. <laughs> we'll see. What the heck? Which way does this go? Yeah, I did. I actually did. Oh, well. You just blindly turned off the Xbox in the other room? Yeah. You are an absolute pro. Thank you. So you can join me mid-stream, right? Like, or uh, mid-game. Okay, cool. So we didn't, we don't have to, like, start everything all over again. Yeah, and so I was gluing foam to pants a bit ago. Uh -huh. And, um, I, I, I was working on it while you guys were playing with Tom. And so my hot glue gun was getting really hot. Oh, yeah? And so, like, I glued something in the wrong spot, and I was like, oh, no. And out of reflex, I, like, used one of my fingers to, like, pick it up. And I forgot how hot it got, because oh. I usually do that. Did you just singe your finger? Well, it's okay. But, yeah, I did something like that, and then I just watched it. <gasps> <laughs> so this is your... So th this is the cost of being of being a craftswoman, right? It's just that, you know, you end, you end up sort of... Put, having to put your life and limb at risk to, to do your art. Yeah, but uh, speaking of crafts, uh, while I was making stuff, I wondered how dangerous is the electric knife that they use at Joann's? Oh, yeah, that's gotta, yeah, that's gotta be crazy. Like, they're just like, mm, right so, next to your hand. So there are, I mean, there are definitely cutting tools they make that are really good at not cutting skin while cutting things that are more brittle. Like the, the like buzzsaw they used to take a cast off somebody's arm um and actually you know, they, they've invented uh a type of oh hey you've just joined us cool. oh yeah i remember when i got my cast taken off in first grade on valentine's day and my hand and my whole arm was just disgusting oh i forgot what monsters we were oh yes <laughs> um i need to put some pants on or do i already have pants on why just... am i so thick <laughs> Oh, and I was thinking about this, and uh, since this man has waited for so long, we must give him the normal spelling of Brad. Yes, Brad. There we go. There we go. He's our boy. <laughs> Remember, we, 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 we raised him last time. Yeah, I was actually really surprised we managed to pull this off that these dodos, we actually had a dodo get born and get survive. Born. I, I fully expected to be incapable of it. Whoa. Oh, yeah, sorry. Just, I was looking outside because the TV that we use as a substitute right now isn't yeah. as good as showing blacks, and so I can just wander around outside. Oh, that's right. So, to fill folks in, um, <laughs> my son uh, threw a controller. He was playing the, the final boss in, um, uh, what was it, uh, the Adventure, Adventure Pals? Pals? He's playing the final boss in the Adventure Pals, which, by the way, highly frustrating boss. Um, he got very frustrated because I had told him, this is your last chance. Your sisters need to have a turn on the machine. And so when he lost, he threw his controller at the TV and smashed our big screen that we had. So, so now we have the little tiny TV from my bedroom sitting in front of our massive broken television. And it's really, really sad. But he has now been barred from that machine. So actually, you guys get to play more. <laughs> so it's actually kind of a blessing in disguise for the girls because Milo usually just dominates that machine all day. And now he's just not allowed to use it for a while. Yeah, um, your torch oh, broke. My t whoa, whoa. Um, I got on. Okay, good. Okay. And the funny thing was, I was like talking to my bird, like t speaking in his insane language. Yeah. And like I was singing about like toilet talk. Because he thought that was nice. And then, why are you trying to punch the air? I'm really not sure what I'm doing. You're like, so mad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here, I can now we both have, to have torches. Yeah. And so, I was talking potty talk with Kiwi. 
Yes. Because it was almost his bedtime. And I... Kiwi is her parakeet. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I just hear, Milo! Oh, you just heard me <laughs> freak out? Yeah. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, must have, like, thrown something at Zoe or something. And then, and then I heard, like, the word, like, broke, and I was like, did he, like, break Zoe's collarbone? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. That kid is strong. Yeah, and then I, I started, like, hearing just snippets of, like, what's going on, and then I walk out to just see this dash in the TV. It reminded me of when, like, my battery expanded in my phone and I kept on dropping it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was basically just a big black streak down the, down the, not right quite the middle, but down, right down the, the, the entire vertical space of the screen with, like, rainbow garbage on either side of it. It was pretty bad. Yeah, and, like, the next day, I was, like, still really sad about it. I was like, oh, my gosh, how am I going to tell my friends? Because one of my friends, I only communicate through Xbox because she usually yeah. doesn't get access to her tablet. And so I'm like, how am I going to tell her? Like, I didn't know that you're going to, like, substitute co op the TV, yeah, totally. And so I was like, oh, my gosh, how am I going to tell her? And so I was just, like, looking up all these ways on how to fix dead pixels, and none of them work. <laughs> That's really sweet. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, Calliope, don't make that fall over. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Sure, Calliope, go for What's it. What's the second thing? She says, can I have the Xbox tonight? And then she says, zits are arc power. Because you said that you got zits, more <laughs> zits from the, the Xbox. That's great. <laughs> well, I was, I was saying that because... Like, yeah. it doesn't show on camera because there's zits, but, um... Yeah, and, uh, and our camera is also really, really small, so... Yeah, and it makes my hair look weird. But, oh, it's a parasaur! So that's not ours, Paris. right? We didn't... Tw right, but if I get a bola, then I can grab us one of these, and then we can ride it. So you can get a bola, right? Not Ebola. Because <laughs> Ebola will not help us... Oh, isn't that nice? We know where she is now. <laughs> yeah, so Calliope just signed in, so yeah, we can, uh, we can uh, monitor her progress. On my account, I don't get notifications like that regularly. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, maybe, I think I think we set it up so that you guys are all friends with me, but you're not friends with each other. So you only would notice if I sign in. That sounds like you're being like overprotective. Like, yeah, it does, right? You, you can't be friends with your own siblings. <laughs> yes, you can only be friends with your father. Yes, and so as soon as it turns morning... Oh. The game is telling me that I'm hot. I really appreciate that. It's... They tell me that I'm cold. We can, all, we can tell who's the favorite here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, it's an... I... It's like, an ik ikchi ik ikchi thi Norris. These guys, these guys will steal your items off you, but they're worse than Peg of Mastaxes because they, like, they break, they eat, they break, you know... Man, we got that shadow bug going on. Yep, you're so, welcome. So every time you look at something dark, it like streaks across my screen. Hey, Dad. Yep. I. Last interruption. Okay. Um, I took out of context when you said I don't like that the game is telling me that I'm hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> I took that out of context. That was uh, yeah. <laughs> this is like. Slime Rancher video 2020. <laughs> All right. So. Okay, I have my slingshot. I guess I should probably link our old Slime Rancher video uh, <laughs> so people know you know some context. Yeah, if I can get a parasaur stuck in between t in be in between trees, then forget the bola. Yeah. I forget. Is there a range in the um, split screen? I'm pretty sure there is because I. I should, I should definitely follow you around. In me and my little brother's world, and on his account, because my worlds are filled with me. <laughs> um, I am so enormous. I fill several worlds. <laughs> um, anyways, um, and so I, I admin command us, commanded us some wyverns, and um, we were flying around, and it did say... Oh, you're, you're out of distance or whatever. And so. Oh yeah, so we we've got that in state of decay as well. We've got. Uh, May you have we've got, a we've got, X, Dad. We call it. Oh yeah, that's right. We call it the tether. Oh, tether I, I, ball, tether ball. I've I got a got, regular axe. I was always too scared to play tether ball. But I love four square. 
But yeah, you definitely, anytime you're in a big open world that streams in chunks. Oh, I'm dehydrated. Gotta drink some water. Yeah, you press Y on the water. I've completely forgotten how to play this game. Because <laughs> I, I only play y it with you. Water. I'm trying to hit Y. There we go. Yeah, I only play this game with you. I never play it by myself, so <laughs> I just complete, completely forget everything between sessions. Okay, me and this turtle are about to have a brawl. But yeah, I've invested quite a bit of my time in this game. Yeah, you're really an expert on this. Like, like every any time they introduce some new, uh, some new feature, some new dinosaur, you're right on top of it. Yeah, and I told uh, that that's a beached megalodon over there. Well, isn't that a nice sight to see? Is that what the? Is that an alpha one? What? Or am I insane? No, that. Let me. I'm gonna get closer to it. Uh, is it gonna eat me? Well, as long as you stay on the beach, no. What? This. <laughs> That's amazing! Oh, 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 like, no, he got, he got I'm loose. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> oh my gosh, this karma nemius. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I'm not sure either. Carbonemus? Yeah, Carbonemus? Yeah, probably. I think that's about right. Yeah, my favorite dinosaur is an oviraptor. Mm hmm. Because they look so innocent. Like, sure, they'll steal your giga eggs. Oh, wait, I got it. Okay. Do I bury the land? Did you murder it or just knock it out? I knocked it out so we can tame this thing. Oh, uh, we have a turtle friend? Yes, and then when we have, like, so much cementing paste, then you're starving now. Oh, I'm starving. How do I, wait, how do I even open my inventory? B. B? All right. Then you go to the berry. Oh, you don't have any berries. Do I, do I have any? I've got some poison berries. Don't do that. Uh, um, oh, it's got some... Wait, that's Let me give you these blueberries. Okay, I've got some meat. Here, take take these blueberries with Y. I gave you ten of them. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Yes, uh, and then press B. Oh, 12. Never mind. And then do RT on them to eat them. Num, 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 num. So yeah. I've been playing the game um, Among Trees, and... Uh, they're much more forgiving with the eating in that game. You do have to eat every day, but each berry that you eat, or each little mushroom that you eat... Oh, hey, this thing is uh, waking up a little bit. Is that normal? Oh, uh, yeah, that's to eat. The okay. unconsciousness is what we need to worry about. Okay, like he's like he's like raising his head and moving his mouth. Around. I, think he, yeah, I, think he's he's, like... I think he's playing dead. He's just messing with us. He's going to roar up and like attack us in any second. Uh, yeah. Um... These guys are actually really good early dudes. Like, it takes a while to get their saddle, mm -hmm. and they aren't very good riders, but they have a crap ton of health. <laughs> I'll bet. Like, look, he has... Okay, I can't read. He has 840 health right then and there. Wow. Oh, by the way, so uh, Ranath Cord uh, said that real fans found out about Kiwi last stream. Because during my last stream, I was playing this game called... Um, uh, Island Saver, and your host, the one who like t the character oh, that teaches you. Oh yeah, you sent me a picture of that. It's like a yeah, a parrot named Kiwi. So yeah, Kiwi can actually say quite a few things. He can say, "Baby bird," "Kiwi bird," "Beaky bird" from, and I guess that's like calling someone a big mouth. <laughs> yeah, I I, I have a, I had a friend in high school um, whose name was Becky, but she started in the middle of high school. She started spelling it B E K I. That hurts you if you do it with just your normal hand. Uh, oh, that is... You press Y on bushes to get berries from them, just saying. Okay, thanks. Um, but yeah, I started pronouncing it B-E-K-I, and I just couldn't resist calling her Beaky, so Beaky there. was Do you want, do you want more while. berries from me? Uh, probably, yeah. Well, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. The, Which oh, thing is my stomach? Is it... That's water. It's... It's under your water. Oh, it's, it's just empty the... right now, so you can't see it. So you can't see, see it? it? Okay. Yeah. Alright, so pick up, pick up. Boxes and boxes of berries. I guess eating just a handful of berries isn't really a hunger solution in real life, too. As long as you stay still for a bit, it a tiny bit. Wow, yeah, I... Wow, I've got, like, one pixel from that. Okay, I've got some No, it's going up, it's going up. Oh, it's slowly going up? Yeah. Okay, well, I think... I'm gonna head back home and, like, cook some of this meat that I've got, because that's gonna last a lot longer, right? Where'd you get fish meat? Maybe I'll just eat some of this poop? I don't know. Uh, if you do that, I'm pretty sure it lowers your health. You, yeah. you can do it. It's You really can eat poop? Really? Yeah. Oh, this game's amazing. Yeah, you can, like, if 
someone like tries to raid your base and you can get them unconscious and put them in a wooden cage and just force feed them poop. What? What? Yeah, someone did that to me. That's amazing. Okay, th that feature alone has made this game just officially legendary as far as I'm concerned. Wow. Okay, well, I'm going to get back and oh, I'm starting to run out of I have a water skin, don't I? Um, I thought I had one last time. But I'm going to drink real quick before I uh, go inside to oh yeah, starve You're myself. running so much that <laughs> like your hu hunger and water is just like snapping. Yeah. Here. Uh, don't forget you press Y on bushes to grab stuff from them. Oh, that's right. So, and I forgot how to cook this here. So Y to light fire. And then press X to go to in inventory fast. Press X? X. Like that. Oh, oh you already have some cooked meat in there. Oh, do I? Which thing is the cooked meat? Next to the wood. Oh, 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 right here. Right, okay. Do I, wait, oh, it's RT to grab it, or? Wait, no, double A to put, and then another double A, because it's a small amount. And then and I'll then... just put a bunch of meat in there. Wait, no, it's... Oh, to oh, do that. RT? Oh, wait, no, don't eat, don't eat the raw stuff. No, I'm eating stuff. the raw meat, no! Eat the cooked stuff. And then you, yeah, you press A, and then you go all the way, and just click on a random item in that. Uh, that should have worked. Oh, oh, oh then you take out the charcoal first? Sure. Uh, don't put it in there. Okay, there we go. So now I put the meat, all of it over here. Yep. And, and is it just going to slowly cook? Cooking. Yeah, and you should probably uh, put the stuff, you should probably eat the cooked meat. Yeah, so I just grabbed it, so I'll eat that. And so now just stand still. Be oh, wow, that's fast. Look at your hunger. Oh, yeah, it's filling up real fast. Yeah, I'm just waiting with this thing. It's gonna be our friend, trust me. <laughs> Unless a raptor wants to take a death dive and stuff. Oh my gosh. In my friend's world, she was yeah. telling me about her world, and there was just so many animals just jumping off hills and killing themselves. Really? They're yeah. like anything, anything to avoid being in a map with you? <laughs> Is that? <laughs> I guess. Like, she saw like a moss chops just like doing its normal, and then just. Hmm. And I didn't even know that, like, wild things could die from height. Because, like, when I just have, like, my tamed things follow me, like, they don't die from height. Like, I, I will, like, hurdle myself off a cliff cliff if I'm she infinite stats and they aren't, and they'll be A-OK. -okay. And so I was surprised mm -hmm. to hear that. But, yeah, apparently it was just, like, walking, and then it, like, hit the ground, and it was, like, glitching like this. Yeah, it's probably... And then it, like... It's probably n nice of them to, uh, to to make sure that you know that if you've got something you've tamed and you're really invested in it, that you're not just going to lose it randomly because you stepped stepped in the wrong place. That's yeah, just kind of them. Then again, this game can be really mean. Like, I took a break from this game for like a whole month because a baryonyx killed my iguanodon. Oh. Like now, I've taught myself not to get too attached to these pixels. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's they true. they look are just so real, though. Yeah, it's really easy to sort of invest in a character that looks really like a real thing, huh? Yeah, I'd definitely cry a lot more if my real bird died, though. Yeah, no, that that that's legit. That makes sense. <sighs> yeah, like, oh, man, just imagining him die makes my makes my vocal cord hurt. <laughs> oh, I can see that. Yeah. But you you have been pretty. Uh, You've lost a few pets, and you've always been really mature about it. Like, you've always, you know, kind of recognized the circle of life, and this is sort of what happens, and it's part of the responsibility. And Yeah, like, I don't throw spiders outside to save them. I throw them outside because it's just extra food for everything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just going to eat a bunch of crap. Stupid berries. Stupid, 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 stupid. Azzleberry. Tasty. There we go. And these red ones. Uh, the purple berries? I have a question. I've always called it, like, everyone else calls it a mejo berry, but for some reason, in my head, it's meho berry. I have no idea where it comes Ideal. from. Ideal. I have no idea uh, where, where where the word comes from. Yeah, wh yeah where look. has it spelled? M Me yeah, so it could be mejo berry or it could be meho berry. I it's, don't know. It, it is 
It probably is Mijo Berry. I'm just crazy. <laughs> no, that's that's, but, that, that's yeah. not unusual. I mean, for somebody who grows up in the United States, where the 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 most prevalent non-English language is Spanish, it's very easy like, when you don't know where, where a word comes from to assume it's Spanish. Like I remember. Um, there was a lot of news for a while coming out of this area of um, Syria called uh, Rojava, mm. and um, or, or possibly Rojava, but I think... Anyway, I'm guessing how to pronounce it. Um, but a lot of people assumed that it was called Rojava mm -hmm. because uh, they thought that J would pronounce like an H. And I'm like, Syria's really far from Mexico. I'm pretty sure that they don't use Spanish uh, pronunciation conventions there. Yeah. Okay. So you're way down there, right? Yes. Right. Oh, I'm already out of water. Drink. Freeze. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna keep collecting berries. Ooh. I won't. I don't want to. By the way, there's no that. chance that our like dodos are gonna catch on fire or anything, right? Because I just left the fire going uh, with the dodos. I don't think so. Because I would... I would uh, I'm pretty sure there's a mini wall that doesn't let them do that. Yeah, I would definitely not leave, you know, a fire going with, like, Milo around it. So, you know, the dodos are kind of like Milo. Uh, yeah, one time... Just irresponsible I, I was, little babies. One time I was letting Kiwi, like, fly around because he likes to do that. Because he's a bird. That, that um, makes sense. And at one point he, like... He, okay, so he's a bird, so he's not that smart, and so he thought it was a good idea to, like, fly in the laundry room for two seconds, before he said he didn't poop on anything, but, um, <laughs> sorry, yeah. um, so you're telling a story about Kiwi. Yes, and then, but I got so scared, because I heard, like, the, the dishwasher running, mm -hmm. and I thought... What are the chances of it being wide open for the bird to fly into it? Oh, so you thought he'd flown into the dishwasher? Yeah, and I was like, Kiwi, what were you thinking? But then he, like, flew right out. Okay. And then he, like, did this. Like, he usually lands on my head, but but sometimes he'll, like, land, like, on my forehead, then scrape his claws. Oh, yay. Then scrape his claws all the way up my forehead onto my hair. So you just succeeded in taming this guy? Yeah, and I'm gonna... Is it hmm. is it from force-feeding him stuff? Is that... Well, I didn't force... I, the only stuff I force-feed him is narco berries, but um, he ate everything else. I'm gonna call him... Hmm. Uh, R or T. R or T. R-O-T? Rot? No, you can name him Ranathcord if you wanted to, if you're on R. What's Ranath? Cord. That's just one of the people who follows us here. By the way, so so Renneth Cord is commenting on the fact that lately it seemed like I only had three kids, um, but it says on my bio that I've got four. So actually, yeah, so if you scroll back through some of my older videos on YouTube, you can see that I have done a few with my oldest daughter. Uh, not as many as with the younger kids. Uh, my oldest daughter is just, um, she is into video games, but she tends to play um, le fewer of these, like, you know, single player games, she tends to play either The Sims, which takes a really huge time investment, or she plays multiplayer, like like Call of Duty Warzone and stuff like that with her friends. And neither of those really lends itself as well to, to streaming with me as, as the games that uh, Phoebe and Calliope and Milo play, so uh, so Zoe and I don't necessarily play all that often uh, on the stream, but yeah, I, we, 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 do, we do have four kids. Yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. Mm-hmm. But the first time I played The Sims, it was The Sims 3, mm -hmm. and I was hearing, like, oh, your people can die, by the way. And I was like, huh. And, like, this is, like, one of the first games that had, like, really realistic graphics. Yeah. And so I was like, wow, these people seem really real. Yeah. <laughs> and so I had... A family of four. A mom, a dad, a young boy, and a baby girl. Like a toddler girl. I think that's still a baby. But, um... <laughs> and they were just, like, all happy in their house I built. It, it was a terrible house, but, you know... Uh, you were young. Yeah, and then... Okay, so you know it's a family of four. I built three beds. <laughs> and so... One of... 
the people, I believe it was the young boy, was getting extremely tired, and so his mood was yellow. Oh, wait, no, not yellow, orange. Yeah. And then, um, I was, I was like, just wailing and crying, he's gonna die, he's gonna die! And then, um, <laughs> you, like, try to come and help me, and you're like, Phoebe, where's your fourth bed? He's probably just tired. And then, just then... He faints on the floor, which is the worst thing. I thought he died. I thought this poor kid died. <laughs> I was like, no! I was so sad. And then, like, I had this horrifying dream that night that, um, I don't even know how to explain it. We were, like, watching something on the projector, and then we had to go somewhere in a car. And, like, mom was there with me, and we were, like, driving the car, and we had ran over that kid that fainted on the floor in The Sims. <laughs> and, like, we had, like, oh, And then he, like, we were watching the same projection once again. I don't know why we got in the car. <laughs> Did we just get in the car for the sake of murdering that kid? I don't know. <laughs> but, um. Did you just ramp up that, that turtle to get on the roof? Yeah. And so, anyways, um, oh, yeah, and then that same kid, and, like, just so you know, like, the lighting was horrible in that dream. But, um, <laughs> you like, need to get a better just, cinematographer. Like, <laughs> like, it was, like, so bright. Uh -huh. It's like when I go into, like, an over-lighted Bloxburg home in Roblox. Yeah. But, um, he comes in headless, like, not bleeding or anything. He's oh. just headless and, like walking around like a zombie. Oh, gosh! And, like, his neck is, like, doing, like, this th throbbing jelly <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, like, very unstable. Okay, okay, so we've been worried, you know, your whole life about what, like, watching me play State of Decay might give you nightmares. But playing The Sims gave you nightmares? <laughs> oh, I'll t I have to tell you about my State of Decay nightmare after this. It, it, it okay. was nothing compared to this but yeah <laughs> um and so um yeah and so i was like crying i was like mom we killed this kid and she was like oh um that we should alert his uh parents yeah um <laughs> that was bad and she was just like kind of like ooh, ah <laughs> like he it. was well alive <laughs> <laughs> and so I don't remember the rest of it. It was horrible. Oh, oh, that's right. That sounds like a really traumatic dream. Be careful going up there. Raptors spawn up there. Ra oh, okay. And so my state, I just realized that we're walking around just listening to me. Oh, that's fine. But, um, yeah, and so my state of decay dream. And so we were in this weird, dodgy gym. Yeah. And we all had, like, little pistols because we were so cool. <laughs> And Were we taking pictures standing back to back with our pistols? No, we did that at PAX though. Yes, um, we did. But in the dream, we were like shooting zombies with the pixels, uh, pixels, um, pistols, pistols, um, and then yeah, we were just like shooting them. And then for some reason, like specific zombies took multiple shots, and each time that type of zombie came up, it scared me to death. Yeah. And um. It scared me to death every time, and mm. it was just horrible in my head, but it sounds really cheesy when I, uh... <laughs> no, that's, that's fine. I mean, everybody knows that, like, you know, dreams always sound just kind of weird when you tell people about them, but the experience of the dream is so much about the feelings that you're having, you know, during the dream. Yeah, and I remember I was, like, stalking you and your friend that you're teaching about the game. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's, like, a Baryonyx over there, Dad. Should I get away? Is a Baryonyx Wait, no, it's bad? a Spinosaurus. It's even worse. Uh, oh, yes. okay. Wait, let me see if the Spinosaurus is still even there. I don't <laughs> see anybody, but that doesn't mean anything. I don't it's know what like, I'm doing. It's like when you get closer, they're like... Oh. By the way, so, so the meat that I started cooking, is it all going to, like, spoil? If you wait really too long, but it shouldn't take that long. Because there was a ton of it. I guess, do we eventually develop, like, refrigeration technology so we can store food indefinitely? Uh, yeah, we, I think if you get, like, 
Okay, I forgot what it's called. And then, like, something else. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there is some spoiled meat in the fire. Man, there's the lots. Okay, yeah. Yep, there's a Spinosaurus over there. Isn't that just wonderful? Every single time I see a turtle in this game, I'm excited. Because I really need Keratin in my solo world. Because, uh -huh. like, it's in Ragnarok. And so... Is Ragnarok I, I, a map? Yes. Okay. Um, and, like... I, I have two pterodactyls, but no saddle, because trilobites just don't exist where I live. Oh, you and need to so, use trilob trilobites to get... To get, like, chitin. Oh, okay. It, but there is no chitin, and because there's no trilobites, and so I have to resort to keratin, which you get from turtles, triceratopses, and stegosauruses, because that's what's local around where I live, mm -hmm. and I... I think I may have killed them all. <laughs> so, okay, so in order to tame this guy, first you knocked him out by hitting him with rocks. Yes. Then you gave him a bunch of food while he was unconscious. Yes. Put a bunch of food in his inventory. So yeah. now the next step we want to ride him is to get a saddle. So so you said that we need uh, chitin from a trilobite to make a saddle. What else do we need? Well, you need chitin and rocks to make cementing paste. Oh, okay. Um, and you also need a lot of hide. And I think you need like wood or something too. And I've so, got I've got some hide uh, that I put in the uh, in, in the box outside the. Cool, and I have some chitin. I wonder if we can actually get a saddle on a turtle uh, during this session. Oh, prob probably not. It took me days to get one. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, with... Like that sounds like really pathetic, but it did. Well, no, that's well, that's the thing that's tough about about streaming Ark generally is just you know. A lot of times, like, I, mean, I know that the, a lot of your playtime with Ark is spent, you know, socializing with your friends while you're playing, because Ark Except is such a... Except for when I play by myself. <laughs> yeah, but, like, it takes it takes a super long time to play this game, so it's either, like, it's really good, it's a really good game to sort of, like, veg out to, you know, when you're, uh, yeah, like, when you want to relax. In my solo world, I have a gun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was really impressed by that until you managed to, like, invent a gun, uh, you know, on this, like, desert island that you've been stranded on with nothing. Yeah, uh, okay, so I need to keep on track. Uh, I need to level up, and so okay. that's what I'm going to go try In and order do. to unlock the saddle crafting? Is that uh, what you're going to do? I don't know when you unlock the carbon in this saddle, but uh, I'm going to try to unlock the bulla so that I can get us a parasaur. So we just want to just hack down every tree we see in order to level up? Yep, leveling up is above your weight, and so, yeah. It's above your weight? What do you mean? Like your weight thing. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, yeah, uh, over on, on the HUD on the right side of the screen. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, so it looks like... Oh, have I... It looks like I might have... Oh, sorry, that's not the right button. <laughs> How do I spend my leveling up points? Because I think I've... My, uh, press B. My bar is full, so I must have some No, it's not up. quite full. Oh, it's just like a pixel shy? More than... Oh, I, I have no idea. This is so small, I can't see. Oh, yeah, it's like right there. It looks like my... It's kind of full, so I, I should just pack down some more trees. Cutting down trees. And since Clypey asked, I'm going to tell Clypey how to do admin while I'm still looking at the screen. Um, okay, so, so yeah, so first, like, set the stage. What is doing admin in our in our? Well, you press X, Y, and both the bumpers to pull up an admin bar. Oh, okay. Um, while pause, but we're probably not going to do that. Unless you want to. Oh, yeah, you, let, you, let's let's see what it is, actually, because this is how you, you play this way quite a bit, right? Oh, I think you have to do oh, it. Oh, I have to do it. So is it X, Y, yeah, and I, what? I can do it for you. It's X, well, you gotta, let's tell the audience, too, though. It's X, so Y, and... X, Y, and both bumpers. Okay. Never mind, it's not working. I don't know why. Do we have to turn it on, um, like, in the preferences at the beginning or something? No, it should just be able... Oh, you there were able to do it. Weird. Okay. And then you can just enter admin commands? Like 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 what? Like what's what's an interesting one? So how about Man, I feel kinda nervous though. Here, how about I just do a quick spawning in dodo? Okay, there you go. Dodo. Cheat something. Cheat summon oh cheat summon, okay. I think I'm doing this right. So funny that like 
Did they no. Op- <laughs> Wow, this is so similar to, to, to the console commands that I use uh, when, when I'm testing State of Decay. That's really funny. They've just basically exposed this. Usually, like, we don't let you bring up the console. Take a look at that. <laughs> He's got a dodo. Wow. Yeah, we don't let you bring up the console the console in, uh, in State of Decay and use those commands. But uh, it's cool that Ark just is like, whatever. You people just do whatever you want to do. So you just know offhand what the full, like name of a dodo is oh oh we get to see your favorite oh wait we'll be rapper <laughs> he just wraps up eggs in like wrapping paper Take a look at oh. oh let me do um let me try something i oopsie. i think this is what i need to do i forget though i might be doing this wrong right now and i'm getting bunny ready. what yeah yeah i did that wrong Okay, I, I'm gonna... Okay, I don't have my phone with me, so I'm not gonna waste my time right now. There's a bunny oviraptor? Yeah. Is there an Easter bunny oviraptor? Yeah, there's stealing also eggs? an Easter bunny uh, dodo, and you get uh, Easter eggs from them, and then you can craft, like, costumes. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. I, I love it when a game just sort of has been around long enough that it just crosses into the realm of absurdity and, like, nobody cares about it being, really like, realistic anymore. They're just like, whatever. Like, we, also, we, yeah, uh, we hit that at a point with State of Decay 1. We just started throwing random weird stuff, like a, a tow truck shaped like a pig, uh, into the game, and people liked it because, you know, whatever. They, they played the game enough, they wanted something new and original. Yep. Here we do G- GFI. GFI. Hat. GFI hat 2-2. Two, two. It's gonna give two, two, us... Oh? Two top hat skins. Now let me just give us. How do we get that? Let me get us leather helmets. Okay. Wait, L E A T H. Yeah, I was about to say I'm spelling this wrong. <laughs> For some reason, it's leather. Uh, oh my gosh, my brain. Uh, <laughs> um, leather. What did I say earlier? Helmet. Helmet. Maybe. I might be wrong. We'll try it. And what, what's, no, the two, what's the what's the two two zero? Is How that like how much to give me? Oh, interesting. Is it leather cap? Leather cap? No, uh, maybe. No. Hmm. Well, I want to see the top hat. Well, yeah, I need a hat to put on. Oh, oh, it's like, it's like a way to dress up. Uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna say hat. uh helmet and see what it gives me. Let's see if this works. Did you that get did something? That did not work. It gave us blueprints. Um, sorry, I'm having... Oh, no, that's okay. totally fine. This is fascinating to me. I'm, I'm actually, yeah, I'm interested in this whole thing. Is there something we can, can look up on my, the internet? Can I grab my phone? Yeah, if you want to go and grab your phone, that's fine. Because you've got all this stuff just noted down there? No, I have Dodo Dex, which is an ARC survival app. Oh, okay, cool. Well, hey, everybody. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll keep you entertained while while she's gone. So, yeah, so uh, the, I am just absolutely fascinated that basically with, with ARK, um, rather than just making a game for people to play, it's like they've, they've... Well, I mean, I guess they've given us a game kind of the way that, Can like... Can you please do find my iPhone? Oh, sure. <laughs> um, the way that, say, like, you know, Wizards of the Coast gives you Dungeons & Dragons as a game, where it's just like, you know, they didn't just make a game for you to play. They made you a tool set that you could use to make your own fun. And uh, so you can, you know, you can play using, like, officially whatever sanctioned um, uh, modules and stuff like that if you want to. But uh, we can also look at Dodex here on the machine if you can't find your phone immediately. It's an uh, uh, Oh, it's an app? Uh, okay. Yeah. There you go. There's a the noise. Um, but yeah, they don't just, you know, you, you can play officially sanctioned and written mo- modules and stuff if you want to, but you also just have a playset you can use to just do whatever you want. And I love the idea that Ark is the latter kind of game. It's like, it's, it's the kind of game where uh, it's, you know, partly about you playing through this experience that they've crafted for you, but it's also to a great degree about friends getting together and playing whatever version of Ark they want to play. And if that means they want to use cheats to, like, 
just give themselves a bunch of stuff and set up a particular scenario for themselves. That's totally legit. Sorry, I just thought of something in my head. All right. So, you're looking up Dodo. So, Dododex is an app you've got on your phone? There's, like, yes. a, Arc has a special app for their, like... I don't know if the Arc ma makers did Oh, it. well, that makes sense, actually. If Yeah, that's the kind of thing that fans would make. And as long as they're just, like, you know, tolerating it, that's totally fine. Okay, you got it? Yes. It's called cla Cloth. Uh, it's not the same thing, I think. Cloth Helt. <sighs> cloth Helm. Typing in front of people is probably the most stressful thing I ever do at the office. Okay, now let me just... Okay, so you just apply a top hat, skin, to okay. each of those. Here, take this. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes! Wait. Okay, we are styling now. Alright, let me let me let me put this on my head too. How do I equip this? Do I just uh, push A on it? Or? Uh well uh, you can right do, trigger? Uh, yeah, yes. I forgot my my left and right. Well left trigger works. Left trigger works? Okay, let me well or there we go. Wow I am a fancy man. I'm like I'm basically Abraham Lincoln, but Stranded on a desert island. I'm Abraham Lincoln Dinosaur Hunter, is who I am. Yeah, but Dad, want to know something funny that you can do in art? What can you do? And so, there is a skin called a birthday outfit. Oh. And it makes you naked. Really? With censoredness. Okay, good. And I'm glad it's got censoredness. Well, yes. <laughs> I mean, there's games that, you know, you're not allowed to play the Conan game. What's the Conan uh, game? Uh, Conan the Barbarian. You can be completely naked in that game. Oh, with like customizable everything. It's crazy. Wait. <laughs> Just like Ark, only yeah. Only anyway, you, customize, uh, you customize yes everything. It's pretty crazy. Everything and everything. Everything and everything. I can't play GTA either because is there, similar reasons. Is there like weird clubs? There, you know what? I don't know specifically what's in GTA. I just know that that's a game all about being a criminal and just violating all of the rules. And so they find as many excuses as they can to do things that would be inappropriate for children. I've heard of, like, extremely young kids playing GTA. Yeah, I actually... Like, I remember when one of the first times I actually had that feeling that an adult has when a kid plays something inappropriate was there were a couple of, uh, but before we had any kids, there were a couple of neighbor kids who lived near near us uh, in our apartment complex, and they loved the fact that we had game machines. And so their, their mom was okay with them coming over and like playing on, on our machines. And so I was playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City at the time. And I was like, oh, and, and they were like, hey, can we play too? And I was like, oh, you know, whatever, sure, you know. It won't be a big deal. I was like, they're just going to drive around. It's kind of fun. And they immediately turned it into a game of, Kick the fat lady to death was the game that they wanted what? to play. So they would just find people and kick them to death. And I was like, they, they, they just did a little bit of, I was like, okay, you know what, guys? Never mind. Give me the game back. <laughs> we're not, this is not the game we're going to be playing. Yeah, I've heard of like, like eight-year-olds play like GTA and stuff. Yeah. Okay, this is less of an arc stream, more like, arc commentary and that's not <laughs> yeah. a bad thing, yeah no right? I mean, this, is, this is fine right? people come here for all kinds of reasons yeah i think you know most what? people Let's, we might as well do players only and spawn us a wyvern what is now what is players only it freezes all dinos okay sure oh so just nothing else has ai it's just only us mm -hmm. yeah i gotta make sure that it works if i take a little quickie look at something that was mid walking. Yep, it worked. Just oh, yeah, they're just frozen in place. Yep. Just now doing whatever mind. animation they were in the middle of. Hmm. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, I just thought of something really good. That will be our great commentary mascot. Okay. Okay. Uh, cheat. Sorry, that was me slapping my leg. Cheat. Summon. Okay. Do you mind not looking at the screen? Because this is going to be a surprise. Okay. I'll I'm tell not you looking. when you can look. You're going to be closing your eyes for just a little bit, if that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I'm not looking. 
going to look at the camera. Hey, if you look at the camera, then you can see the game. No, no, no. I can't see any of these screens. I can see the camera right there. Oh, the camera. I was just giving knowing looks to the like, audience. I thought you were, like, <laughs> looking at, like, the mini screen. Oh, yeah. No, looking at OBS? No, I was not looking at OBS. Don't be a peeker, Daddy. I'm not going to be a peeker. It's going to be fine. This is a very... Is this just a creature with a really long name? I'm doing multiple things. Okay. <laughs> We're just having a party? Yes. Alright, well, I'm just going to look at my phone out, I guess. And just, you know... This is Christmas. Just chill here. No peeking. Yes. Getting me some Christmas dinosaurs. I have peeked at Christmas. Don't judge me. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Cloudy. What? Um, I want to know how to get the XP. Add experience and then do your number and then space zero space zero. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Why are you looking at the... Oh, I'm not even looking at anything. It's fine. Just, uh, I couldn't read like... anything. Yeah, I was just... <laughs> And I always do at least 220 because for some reason, uh, yes, okay. For some reason, whenever I do 110, it. I'm not reading it, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're like. I, it would take a lot of effort for me to accurately read this stuff from back here. My, my eyesight is not very good, so okay. that screen that's just way over there, I, I would have to strain really hard at it to, to read it. I have very How many numbers. things? How many things? I am almost done. <laughs> I, I am... I'm okay, very, we're done. Take a look at me I and our little very, host, Mascot. Hi, P. Why are you here? <laughs> yeah. But I have very Oh, wait, that memory. didn't work. Okay. Oh, I think it was add, the words add experience, which you probably add have to spell experience. right. Okay, hold on. I need to do uh, players only again. <laughs> you mean turning off players only? Yes, which means doing it again. Oh, that makes sense. That's how a lot of our console commands work, too. They're like toggles. Okay, so I don't see anything. I just see this guy. This is all okay. I can see. Ready? I'm gonna... Wait, look at me at first. Look at you? Wait, where look are you? Me? Oh, hi! Okay. What's up? Wait, where? where's our boy? Our boy. There what? he is! What? What? An otter with a top hat! <laughs> <laughs> that is our host. That is gorgeous. Let me see how can I get closer to how do wait, how do you crouch again? Uh oh yeah. right yeah, right click. Look that at him. is amazing. Oh he winked at us! He winked at us! Oh that's amazing. He's so, yeah. what what's his name? Does he have a name? Let's give him one. Here, I know whoop, whoopsie. Uh I know actually I don't know what name to give him. Hmm. Uh What's How a host of a show that's popular? A host of a show? Um, Graham Norton? Can you, you can name him Graham Otter Pop or something like that. Or who, who would wear a top hat? I feel like you just need to have some kind of like really posh, ridiculous English name, right? To be wearing let's a top hat. Him, you know, let's call him... Let's dainty? Dainty baby. Dainty baby. Okay, there you go. That works. This that, is this is Dainty Baby the Otter. He is our host of our commentary show when we talk about our lives while staring at this wonderful man. <laughs> I can't believe that. So, and you were able to hold him in your inventory? That's why I didn't see him at first? Yeah. See? You just carry okay, it. It, dis it disappears whenever I pick him up. You can just fill your pockets full of otters? Well, he actually goes up here. Come close to me for a sec. Mm -hmm. So make sure you can see my shoulders because it'll show up for just a sec. Oh, and then it goes away? Why does it go away? I have no idea. Probably because it's like two player. Oh, uh, maybe so. Or maybe it's because he's got that amazing hat. Like as soon as they try to put the hat on his head, it just fails. Oh, that's so adorable. 
I don't know how to spell experience. Yeah. So maybe we can help you after the stream is over. But I can't wait that long. Oh, yes, you absolutely can. Yeah. Calliope, please give us some space. So, anyway. Quick um, intermission. <laughs> We're back with um, <laughs> the Dainty Baby Show. Yes. You're just going <laughs> to crawl right into... Oh, oh, you're oh man. I love that. Okay, look up just slightly so you can see a little bit more of his hat. Okay, that's amazing. Are you going to use that as a thumbnail? I'm going to see if I can. It's, you might have a little be, hot bar in the way. Yeah, it might be tough. That's why I was like, look, like, look down a little bit too to get a little bit more of his neck. I might be able to piece something together, but it might look kind of weird. So yeah. I'm not sure. I'm what no promises on the on the thumbnail. Yeah. What are you gonna title the video? I don't know. Um, we might just call it Dainty Baby, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Dainty we'll just call babies. it. We might just call it Cheating at Arc with Phoebe. <laughs> cheating at Arc. Like the first one was like, oh, introduction to art, and and. Introduction to Ark, and next we're cheating on Ark. It's a, yeah. a bad relationship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So also, I love the fact that we got this outline of a top hat when I'm looking at you too. <laughs> so, it's like a halo around the two of you. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know if we can top the otter. Honestly, I think we might want to just end the end the session right here. I know, right? I mean, there are jerboas, but what are jerboas? Oh, you want to see what a jerboa is? Okay, okay, show me what a jerboa is, and then that'll be the last thing. All right. Is it a kind of boa constrictor? It's a sand fox. Oh, what? That can tell the weather with its tail. Well, you know what? I have played so many games starring mystical foxes lately. Um, I mean, it's based off a real animal, but the this one is way cuter. <laughs> cuter than reality could possibly have produced. Yeah. I mean, that is that happy little otter is about pushing the limit of what cuteness can do. Trust me, it gets cuter. <laughs> I'm trying to type really fast, but that's making my hands shake. <laughs> <laughs> like, see, I just almost wrote that horribly wrong. Jerboa chat, though, sounds like a really nice kind of a, like, I don't know, an activity at a zoo or something like that. Yeah. Jerboas are one of my favorite animals in real life, along with Quetzal birds. Uh -huh. That sounds like I'm way into Ark. I'm like, way too much into Ark. The Quetzal birds are real, though, right? Yes, they are, yeah. and they're really pretty. Oh my gosh, he's like squatting midair, but look oh, at that boy. Is... Oh, look at him. He's Let's so cute. Let's get him cute. a cute little twin who's looking... Oh my gosh, this one's cuter. How, <laughs> they just get how cuter, cuter each cuter time? Can... Okay, that one's in the ground. That one's also in the ground. Um, <laughs> I can't move. Look at these guys. <laughs> And they're all, like, moving separately. Yeah, this crazy herd. <laughs> and there's the one otter who's trying to wear a hat to fit in. <laughs> yes, let me just... <laughs> oh my gosh, are you okay, sir? I know they call you the desert fox, but don't take it too literally. This reminds me of the one time when I was playing one of those weird Life in Paradise games in Roblox. And, um, this dude put me in the stroller, and which okay. stuck me into the ground. Oh. And so I just sat there with my character like this, like, halfway in the ground, and I named myself Ground Girl. <laughs> and, like, whoever passed by, I would give this long paragraph on how Doge King made me who I am. <laughs> ground Girl. Well, but, yeah. so, so I, do, I honestly don't think we can make anything better than this, so I think we'll, we'll, we'll cut it short here. But uh, thank you for coming in and showing us all this ridiculous stuff in art. And I don't know, just listening to all of your stories about, you know, uh, the way that video games have influenced your psychology. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's been amazing. And to end this off, do you guys want to see my dinosaur mask that I already painted today? Oh, sure, yeah. You guys already saw Calliope. So well, I'll, ra I'll wrap up the video. Yeah, go ahead and bring that in. So Sweat while she's going to get her dinosaur mask, let's just um, wrap things up. It is way far away from done, so I'm just going to block the undone feathers, but it's supposed to be a cockatiel dinonychus, but it has two feathers right now, but it's going to have ten times more, but take a look at that.